All right, elephant toothpaste reaction. I'm going to add uh, 100 mils of 30% hydrogen peroxide to this graduated cylinder. I'm just sort of topping it off here. That's about 90 mils. That's fine. 90 mils of 30% hydrogen peroxide. We'll add a little bit of detergent. And then I'm going to add some saturated potassium iodide. The iodide will act as a catalyst to decompose the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen gas. Now the oxygen gas is caught in, in, the, in the foam, in the detergent, and that produces the foam. Something I like to do with my students is to show them that there is oxygen gas in the foam. And you can do that by taking a glowing splint. Okay, I'm going to burn it first. I'm going to blow it out so it's just glowing. And this splint will burn better in the suds because that's a pure oxygen environment in the suds. Glowing. Get a nice effect. So the splint's going to burn much better in the pure oxygen environment in the foam than it does in air. Another little trick you can do, and this is great around Halloween time, is you can pretend you're Harry Potter in potions class, and you've just developed a potion that helps you with your Lumos char uh, your Lumos, is it charm or spell? Oh, whichever one. Lumos! Lumos!